Red cups My party had on you my party favor your trophy case filled with the Hey guys, I hope you are. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my top beauty favorites for us brown skin girls because I know if searching for makeup products that match with our skin is is not easy over the past years of trying different makeup products i've found different ways to make makeup products work for my skin tone us brown skin girls have problems with like having like powdery ashiness in like pictures and then like nude lipsticks looking very like grayish the whole foundation oxidizing and then the hyperpigmentation is like yeah um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can still use the products that every girl uses but make it work for you and yeah all these beauty products work well on any skin tone but these are have helped me to make my makeup look better in pictures and in person as well if you'd like to know my top recommendations um, then keep on watching so the first product is a contour palette um, so I've struggled in the past for looking for contour palettes so the one I recommend getting if you're like my shade or darker I definitely recommend using getting Kat Von D's shade and light palette so I use the lightest one like that one it looks quite light but it actually shows up on my skin um, and it applies very smoothly as well like I know some contour products can be a bit patchy um, so this one is very light coverage and it's definitely buildable so this one's very, it's like if you're looking for a contour product um, that's not too heavy, too dark, um, but still smooth application, I definitely recommend this one. And I haven't used this yet, but these ones you can use like under the eye to brighten. Um, but currently I use like Laura Mercier's translucent powder. Speaking of the Laura Mercier translucent powder, this one is also a definite must have. Um, the problem with us brown skin girls is that when you apply powder it um, it shows up ashy on like flashback cameras I definitely recommend getting this like I haven't I've only recently got this I kind of stayed away from them from this because uh, I've seen other so many youtubers use this even my skin tone so before this I used to use a Ben Nye banana powder and then I thought okay let me try give this a go and it definitely is translucent like when you apply it I usually apply it with a damp beauty blender and like press it into my skin I don't let it um, bake uh, because I feel like if I bake it it's gonna look dry so for a more smooth finish I just pat it on my under my eyes and like my t-zone and uh, it just gives you that flawless finish and it doesn't give you that flashback that most other powders uh, give most other powders that I've tried um, but yeah I definitely recommend this um, to sit under the eye and the next product is foundation I know foundation can be like a struggle and that there are a lot of foundations out there that um, oxidize if you don't know what oxidize means it means like after a few a uh, couple hours um, the foundation like changes color um, it goes orangey or goes darker after a couple hours um, and that happens with quite a lot of foundations that I've tried but the one I definitely recommend that doesn't oxidize well for me it doesn't oxidize is the Giorgio Armani Silk Luminous Foundation this one looks the most natural as well it doesn't have like an orangey pinkish undertone it's like it just looks like skin I'm in the shade 9 um, and it's like light coverage and it's like very dewy so it looks like skin very natural and it doesn't oxidize um, so I definitely recommend this if you're going for like a light dewy finish foundation and uh, if you're not going for one that's kind of like an orangey yellowy undertone it looks more kind of natural and I've got another foundation which is very similar to this just a bit cheaper on the market but very similar is the Fenty Beauty foundation the only problem with me is that I got the wrong say, uh, wrong shade so I can't really use this uh, sadly but I will purchase probably purchase one next time whenever I can be bothered but I definitely recommend this it's basically like the Giorgio Armani very light coverage very dewy and it doesn't oxidize well as far as I know these two are very similar this one's a bit more expensive but this one has a bit of a yellow undertone but doesn't have the oxidizing problem which us brown girls hate <laughs> the next product I'm going to show is an eyebrow product Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade is like the best eyebrow product I've ever tried but finding an eyebrow product for my um, eyebrows was a struggle uh, to look for in the drugstore section when I started filming like with the eyebrow products I used to show uh, I used to use um, had like orangey undertones and it didn't look nice on camera even like in natural lighting it looks orangey like you can tell that I'm wearing eyebrow product underneath so the eyebrow product that is like the perfect match for like us girls with like dark dark eyebrows um, is definitely from Freedom um, this is kind of like a dupe for Anastasia's Beverly Hill it's the same shade Ebony which I use for Anastasia's one 
and it's very dark it doesn't have that orangey undertone um so i definitely recommend getting this i've already used quite a bit yeah i use this like on an everyday basis now because like with the other ones i use from the drugstore even the darkest ones give an uh, orange give an orangey undertone and it just doesn't look natural in like natural lighting and even in this lighting it just looks like orangey and brown like it's too light for my um for my color <laughs> um like even the darkest ones i've tried like i've tried ny uh, nyx and like other ones like even the darkest shade like um it's always out of stock in um the shade is was always out of stock in super drugs um so i bought it from tambeauty.com i think um they have a lot of um makeup revolution and like freedom products and yes yeah, so i definitely recommend getting this another product i highly highly recommend is a color corrector orange color corrector for uh, pigmentation i haven't used it for a while i'm just a bit lazy but i definitely recommend it it does make a difference like even my sister uses it now like like for us brown girls we have like a lot of pigmentation like around the mouth area and like sometimes like under the eyes as well so i definitely recommend using an orange color corrector or even peach um just pat it under the foundation and it definitely covers it covers like all the pigmentation like it makes a big difference especially when you have like a lot of pigmentation around the mouth area um like with my sister she has a lot of pigmentation um and when she uses this it does make a big difference so i def definitely recommend a color corrector and this one's from la girl the next product i'm going to mention is probably something you're going to expect <laughs> um and it's a product i always use um and i know it's a product that it's a product that a lot of you have mentioned that you've bought it because of me <laughs> and have um, thanked me for it <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm so glad that you guys like it as well like yes yeah, it's, it's my holy grail it's something I use with every every time I do my makeup routine is obviously the NYX Urban Cafe lip liner the shade is Urban Cafe yeah I use this all the time with every lipstick I know finding a nude lipstick that suits us girls uh, us brown girls is very difficult but this makes any nude lipstick work um so even if you if you've got the lightest nude lipstick wearing this and then like just patting a light nude lipstick will just make it match with your skin perfectly um i've even bought like a new one <laughs> i think this is like my third one so this is like my fourth one so i'm almost done so i've got like a new one ready so when i finish this i can start using this one before when i first started wearing lipstick i never wore lip liner and i used to have this kind of like ashy nude lipsticks i used to buy these ashy nude lipstick like the ones that kim kardashian used to wear um those really nude it just didn't look right um but since i started wearing lip liner i kind of discovered like different different lip liners and this one works perfect for me for every nude lipstick or even like a uh, bold lipstick is perfect and a lipstick a nude lipstick well i wouldn't say it's nude i'll say it's like a brown bold lipstick but not too bold uh, i definitely recommend is balm cosmetics uh liquid lipstick in the shade trustworthy um i always get compliments when i wear this um <laughs> and i bought this because of my friend like when i saw my friend sangeeta if you're watching this yeah because of you <laughs> um so i bought this um when i saw my friend wearing this i thought oh my god what lipstick are you wearing like, i never asked her what lipstick she's wearing but when she wore this when she wore this i was like what lipstick are you wearing <laughs> and then i bought it immediately i was like okay i need to get that um the thing I love about Balm Cosmetics is the smell. Mm, it smells like chocolate mint. I just love the smell. Yeah, the last product I'm going to mention is the Modern Renaissance Palette. I'll say this is like my holy grail palette. It has everything I need to do, like an everyday or even glam. Um, it's all warm tones. It's the colours that I would actually go for. Um, you see, I get up like hip pan there. I always use this as a transition shade. And then these colours are just perfect for any outfit, really. Just warm tone colours. And it's got like gold for the inner corners. I use that all the time. You can create so many like neutral looks with this uh, palette um, and it shows up on our skin tone as well if you're if you're my skin tone or even darker than me it shows up easily and it's very pigmented i know like with us brown skin girls it's hard to find a palette where it kind of like shows up on the skin without having to kind of add more product this one is very pigmented very pigmented very pigmented sorry <laughs> this one is very pigmented and it very all the colors show up very well on my skin so yeah definitely recommend this so that's all the products that 
uh, I definitely recommend these are my personal choices um, but if you do have any recommendations please list them below in the comments I would love to try them out thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a video from me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.